Oh, welcome back to another fantastic episode of Let's Play New Threat 2.0. And today is the finale in quotation marks because we're going to go do the final dungeon. Probably not the finale of the playthrough, though, because there are many, many things to do post game. If it's anything like New Threat 1.5, there will be many things to do post-game. But, uh... In terms of... Final Fantasy VII story, we're off to go do the big, bad... Sephiroth thing. We beat Ultima, so we have the ultimate weapon. The only thing left is, like, crazy post-game stuff, so... I'd rather do the story now while it's still a challenge. Did he equip the ultimate weapon right? Yeah. Did I... I need to move... Move some stuff. Because the ultimate weapon doesn't have any materia growth. I think, yeah, I think we've done all the SP stuff at this point. Although I, I only did it on the characters I'm using. I left the other ones in case I decide to use them later for, like, something particular. Dragon Fang. Uh-oh. We didn't get a save point. I'm guessing he probably just placed save points. Wow, 4,000 damage. I'm guessing he just placed save points. Nope, we've not done any of the weapons yet except Ultima. Usually you get a placeable save point. Why can't I see their health? I sense them. Apparently the... The stone version and the regular version are two separate enemies, so I have to re-sense. This one, Adrian? I never knew that. It's a cool detail. I mean, it makes sense. The game doesn't have, like, a... in the Bagris Claw. The game doesn't have, like, a, a state like that that you could put an enemy in, so instead it just probably deletes the one enemy and places the other on top. Holy cow, Virus is so strong. Good timing. 
the claw do again. getting attack items. It's a Dargan. Crater Dragon. Level 77. doing crazy damage. Yo, oh, Marky! Think about the 43! Dragon always have that like crazy looking tail. I don't think I've ever noticed that. I never noticed his like tail as like spikes. Beyblade, let it rip. I like Barrett's exact 7,000 HP. I might have to start healing the dragon. I want to get this steel. Probably get Dragon Force. Oh, uh, it's level 77. I can't get the steel. I think I'll just fight another one. Because I want to get a I wanna get Dragon Force anyways. Cloud. 
I said don't. Okay. We didn't counter. I never got the steel, but I got a dragon armlet. Strength and magic plus 20 resist shout. Crap stats. Wait, wait. It'd be fine if there were more materia slots, but without the materia slots, I can just get those stats from the materia. actually get shield I, mean, I definitely want it just to level it up I'm done manipulating a dragon. Seven two. But I got a steal in one try. This guy probably can't be morphed. This guy is a really cool gimmick, but he's kind of weak in the base game. So you don't really get to see it much. You usually just end up killing him in two or three hits. Yeah, he has a insta-kill move, and he also has... He splits into two parts.
already feeling the pain of the ultimate weapon. Cloud keeps dealing no damage. How's it going, Tofu? What? We can do that. Second X Potion? Turbo Ether. X Potion from the top and Turbo Ether from the bottom. Clever. Give me another Dargan. Dargan? Not Sephiroth. That is a tadpole. Oh god, I can't wait to fight Tom Berries. Oh good, we all make mistakes. Another X potion. Yeah, 
Hypno Crown. Another one? I'm doing awesome. I, I was talking earlier about how we've had this, like, dream ever since we bought our house to redo our kitchen. Nothing, like, super fancy, but mostly just to get a new sink, because our sink is terrible. And, uh, we've been working on it for the past couple weeks, and it's looking like Monday is going to be, like, the last day. We're going to be able to, like, finish everything up on Monday. That is super exciting. We'll finally get our kitchen back, and it'll be the kitchen we want. It's been a project of ours for the past couple weeks. We've had, like, not not exactly a non-functioning kitchen, but also a nice save point. A very difficult-to-use kitchen, so... excited about that. And I bought two big bookshelves that I'm going to use to organize a bunch of stuff in my space. Which is something I've been looking forward to for a long time. I've been slowly working on it over the last couple months, just organizing everything I have and coming up with like a way that I want to store everything. One dub. And I finally have like a plan in place. I finally bought bought the uh, bookshelves I need to execute the plan. lot of like a lot of it's been uh, you know looking around and trying to decide how I want to organize everything it just takes a lot of decisions to be made on what I want to keep what I want to store what I want to put on shelves finally have like a plan in place. So a lot of my weekends probably gonna entail building those bookshelves. Feel that, man. Hasn't hasn't quite been 14 years, but it's been a couple years. There's my dragon. Why can I only target Cloud? And also, what the heck did Dragon Force just do? Because it's not what it normally does.
So Dragon Force is usually a defensive move. Usually it increases defense and magic defense. That gave me Berserk and who knows what else. He already had Haste. That's so weird I can only target him. I have no idea why. It's like incredibly random. I figured you would rework Dragon Force because it is kind of busted. It's busted post-game. Not so much regular game, but... It is, uh, incredibly strong post-game. If you don't believe me, find the clip of me where I made Emerald Weapon do 3 damage to Cloud. Even, even like crater, it's not that great. Like it's good, but it's not like busted good until you get like close to max stats. Which you're only gonna really do in post post game. It's still good though. Like even just when you first get it, it's still good. Doubling your defense is always gonna be good. See what it actually does. Also, he gives a lot of AP. Haste, Berserk, Auto Crit. Whoa. Give that to Tifa. different stuff. Percentage means hit chance. 255 means it always hits.
And you get a crit every time if you're max luck? Uh, pretty much. I don't remember the algorithm, but if you have max, like, if you have max luck, not just like level 99, but like 255 luck, then you're pretty much auto critic. Ray. Let's go. You, you are aware that this is a mod, right? Like, Everything's in a different spot. Quantum! Thank you for the brand new sub, man. Thank you very much. No, I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to X because he keeps telling me where things are, which I know where they are, first of all. And second of all, it's a mod, so they're in different places. I don't, I don't need the constant, this is here, this is there, this is there, this is here. Luck plus level. So if you're facing a level 99 enemy, you'll have a 63% ch crit chance with 255 luck. Very few enemies in the game are actually level 99 though, so I'm vanilla, so it's just as high as gets. Yeah, like basically, you're never gonna have 100% crit rate on Emerald, but other enemies you'll get pretty dang close. I gather from that.
Let's see, he's lucky girl. Or the item in this mod. That gives you, uh... Auto crits. You're good, X. Just calm down a little bit. <laughs> it's just constant, like, all day questions and telling me to do things, and you really don't need to do that. There's also a Barret weapon, isn't it? Two Barret weapons? From two enemies? playing Shrek again, and then immediately asked to be banned. I respect it. I respect the game. I respect the hustle. Guard ring? The question is, did I ever play Shrek, or did Shrek play me? Bunker, Vitality, Spirit, Crit. Max Ray, wow. That Dexterity plus 60, though. And the attack is non-elemental? What? That's wild. by the battle arena we're currently in, but okay. I think would have been cool if at the end of this mod, Ritsuru, 
at the end of this mod, we got, like, uh... Kind of like the remake does, where, like, all the weapons get the same materia slots. Because the way it is now, like, only the weapons with the most materia slots are going to be beneficial just because of how the stats and the materia work. But if they all had, like, max materia slots, then, like, all the different abilities and stuff that they have would be really... really interesting to use in different scenarios. Thank you so much for the gifted sub. Thank you very much. Uh, let's do that. I want to use Planet Protector right before he does his big move. Which I'm guessing is still going to be Pandora's box. I wanted to see that, but it's the wrong person. Okay. Cool. Actually, didn't I already got? I already got Shadow Flare. Pandora's box. Also, a random place for a save point. seen a Tomberry yet. Yeah, it's definitely nice. I mean, I, I like the lack of save points in this dungeon casually, but for a mod it's nice just to have save points everywhere because this dungeon's huge. But 
But yeah, I, I always liked the, uh... The way that the final dungeon kinda... Forces you to decide where to place that one save point. And everything else is like a big... Survival. Pearl materia, is that holy? Got the real holy. kind of cool though I didn't even think about this in terms of the splitter materia but it makes like counter magic work differently so if you wanted like counter magic dispel you wouldn't need a level 2 destruct materia you could just have the splitter materia Hello. That's different. He's not usually chilling here. Ragnarok! KO as well. That's probably not good. Afraid meteor rain might kill. Um, 
666. Can't be good. I hope this doesn't give him Berserk. Okay, good. Ow. <laughs> he hurts. Oh my god, he's so fast! Is he fast or is he countering? He's just fast. I really love how the uh, the final dungeon here has like some genuinely terrifying enemies. Sub to carry. Double slings are so brutal. Every time he loses barrier, he just immediately puts it back up. Even if I dispel it. It's crazy though, I got Aerith hitting us for heal every turn and the Ronald's going off and the barriers. Like just enough to keep him at bay. What do we get for all that struggle? An Imperial Guard. Pretty fitting reward, but I already have two, I think. The uh, resistance to auto KO, though, might be needed. Right, we got the Ragnarok, Vitality plus 70 and Crit plus 30. Too bad we already have the ult. I feel like Ultima Weapon needed to be stronger. Because, like, I'm still getting weapons for Cloud, but the Ultima Weapon was not hard to get. Ultima Weapon was basically just his normal difficulty. I wish he had made Ultima, like, really difficult, so that I could come down here first, get the Ragnarok, and then later get the Ultima. That's a Tom Berry. Copy a few meteor rains because 
We're gonna need damage. Unless he just kills Cloud with this. Okay. Yeah, that might be the play. I don't know how much health he has, but... I'm guessing it's a lot. The only thing that sucks is... Cloud's gonna do less and less damage the more he takes damage. Also, did he have a M barrier randomly? What is that? What is that? Why does he have an M barrier? One more. Oh, that? That's just my barrier. 84. Oh, he still has four, 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 four. Starlight M phone. So glad that Morph's actually dealing damage now because the ultimate weapon is so strong. That's one, that friend. There, it's fine. You can see his eyes are open. He's just, he's just laying down. damage. So in Z-Bag? That was easy. Ribbon? Aegis Arm. I mean, that's still pretty nice. That's the crazy... Crazy defense armor. Well, look at that, M Barrier material. Well, look at that, XP Plus. What level even are we? Could probably use that. Especially Cloud, he's kind of behind. Ooh, those minus percentages, though. Yikes. I don't want to put MP Turbo on. Pearl? Comet? is a thing. Why would Big Guard not be a thing? Because I picked, because he gave me a barrier materia so late. Yeah, I don't know. He's given us a lot of splinter materia here in, in the final dungeon for some reason. Like, I don't see the use for it. I see the use for the dispel splinter. I don't really see a use for M barrier splitter. Maybe, like, if you wanted to do... M barrier counter instead of well, I mean you just get walled up. What? Uh, wait. That's probably why, because like right now, if I were to do magic counter barrier, I'd get reflect out of it instead of M barrier. 